We're taking a look at the numbers here. A couple of familiar names as well, but this one does not appear to be going into any type of runoff anytime soon. Tree Preston Kulkarni, who actually took on Olsen back in 2018. That was a tight race. Of course, Olsen came out on top. He appears to be heading this go round to the general election. Channel 2's Keith Garvin live at Nell's campaign headquarters over at Freedom Hall in Richmond tonight. Keith? <laughs> Hey there, Jonathan Dominique. I know uh, saxophone here, just a few supporters remain, but excitement was at a fever pitch when a very confident and very pleased Sheriff Troy Nails addressed this crowd here at Freedom Hall. Nails arrived here just over an hour ago, around 9 o'clock, and when he came through at that point, he had a commanding lead over challengers Kathleen Wall and Pierce Bush. At that point, Nails had 45% of the vote. Wall was in second place with 18%, and Bush was tied for third place. After shaking hands, Nails told the crowd he not only he was not worried about winning the May runoff, but he predicted he would beat the Democratic candidate in November by double digits. Nails, needless to say, is very pleased with his campaign so far. We ran a very strong campaign, a solid campaign, a clean campaign, quite honestly, talking about the issues that we face in this country, whether it's our, our, our poorest border, our, our national debt. Uh, we, we just feel really, really good about where we are, and we're going to continue on with this momentum. We're going to build on this momentum uh, for this runoff, no matter who that may be. And that runoff opponent at this point likely appears to be Kathleen Wall. If Nails is successful in that runoff in May, his likely Democratic challenger will be Sri Preston Kolkarni, who had a commanding lead in the Democratic primary tonight, as you all showed. Kolkarni only lost to outgoing Congressman Pete Olson by five points in 2018. So it may not be a super easy race for either side. Reporting live from Richmond, Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News.